Hi folks, so as you know I've started doing some reviews. Um, for those of you who are interested in antique British swords, uh, whether you collect antique swords or whether you just simply want to know more about them, this is the Bible, okay? Um, or Torah or Quran or whatever you want to call it, okay? This is the book you need to read if you and own if you want to uh, learn all about British uh, military swords from um, from what year is it 1788 to 1914 okay um, and it covers all of the standard uh, patterns that is models of, um, of British sword that were used by different uh, types of soldiers different regiments in the British Army between 1788 and 1914 that is through the Napoleonic Wars right the way through the 19th century the Crimean War Indian Mutiny um, uh, Zulu Wars and so on, right the way through to the beginning of World War I. Uh, and in actual fact the reason it doesn't go beyond World War I is simply because uh, British sword didn't actually change for the large part since World War I. Uh, the, the, the parade swords as, as they're often known, or dress swords as they're often known now, even though they are actually functional swords, uh, that are worn by uh, on parade by soldiers in the British Army today are the same ones that were being worn uh, at the beginning of the First World War. Okay, um, And this really gives you all the information um, that you would need to know to start collecting um, British antique swords. It is called Swords of the British Army and it is by Brian Robson. And if you frequent Sword Forum, um, uh, for example the antique uh, part of Sword Forum, um, then often you will hear Robson referred to, and this is the book Robson, it's available on Amazon um, and basically if you want to know more about British swords of the military uh, type then go and get Brian Robson's uh, Swords of the British Army now. Uh, it's 10 out of 10, pretty much unparalleled work um, and you need to have it. Cheers!